instructional video on how to use this website. First thing you want, I want to familiarize you with is just the layout of the website. So across the top, the very top thing you see is the video gallery link. A lot of people ask about our videos, so we put it right on the top there so you can have a look and kind of go through those and educate yourselves. This gets your genius logo. That also doubles as the home button, so if you're on a page and you need to get back to the home screen, just click right here. We get down below here, we've got our menus. We've got home, again, where that brings you to the home page. We've got our back Bobcat attachment selector. What the selector does, when you click on it, it takes you to this grid. What this grid is for is this is if you have an existing Bobcat attachment and you want to put it on another name brand machine you scroll down through here and look for that attachment underneath the machine. So let's say we have a Caterpillar D-Series machine with a 14 pin or a Case or a Gale or a Mustang, Kubota or others that have 14 pin connectors on them. We scroll down underneath those machines until we get to the attachment that we want. So let's just say we're looking for a mulching head. Right here, we just click here and it's going to take us to the page of what we're looking for. And it may not be what we're thinking we're looking for because a lot of times people are looking for adapters to go to 7-pin attachments, but that's not actually what we're doing here. Is we're, this is a harness that bypasses the existing computer. This is the least expensive way of doing this, so that's why we offer this first. In some cases, we will have electronic means of doing this, uh, those don't exist yet as of the date of this, publishing this video. However, you can keep looking back and we will add those links to the pages when they come available. Once we've selected this, we want to verify that we've got the correct connector, add it to the cart, and then check out, put our other information. Or if we want to continue shopping, we can just close this and go back to the home page and search for other items. Let's go back to the Bobcat Attachment Selector page because this section seems to be very, very popular. Again, we have a little description of how this works. Here are the main machines in 14-pin. Here are the main machines in 8-pin. There are some notes for different descriptions of things that might be required as well as you'll see hyperlinks through here. There's, here's the click here are hyperlinks which take you to the ordering page as well as FAQs which means frequently asked questions that you'll be able to click on. All the way down through here there's different part numbers of things that can be ordered and these are all Genius products. However, there are times when people want to run the Bobcat attachments at the same time. So if you scroll down past our selection we've actually added all of the Bobcat part numbers as well. So if you want to run a 7-pin and a 14-pin simultaneously, right here, these are Bobcat T-harnesses. And this is a selector for that. So you scroll down to, let's just say it's a V-blade. You go to the V-blade. You want to verify your serial number. And then I come across here, and here's a selection. Now, we do not sell these. There are a couple of these different harnesses that we make available to go with our super controllers but the majority of these harnesses we do not sell. You're best to contact your local Bobcat dealer if you don't have a good relationship with them for some reason or you're, you feel like the price is too high, contact us through our form and we will set you up uh, with a Bobcat dealer that's really easy to work with that we've worked with for quite a few years. Okay, so that is the attachment selector page. Talk about our seven pin adapters. These are for people who own only Bobcat machines and they want to run aftermarket attachments on those machines. Or possibly they've got a newer Bobcat that only has a seven pin installed and they've got older Bobcat attachments and they're looking for an adapter to do that. So we'll click on this page and what you'll see here is just starting at the very beginning. This is one of our six channel uh, kits. This is actually for FFC snowblowers, but what this does is it has, or sorry, cold planers. What this has is a controller box, which has a computer inside here behind all of these LEDs. And this takes the seven pin, if you look here, there's the Bobcat seven pin, takes that seven pin code, and down on the other end, it turns it into a 14 pin. There's an adapter that goes from a 14 pin down to the FFC adapter plugs. Okay. 
We have several different styles of these in different sizes to meet each budget. All the way starting at the very beginning, if we go to our smaller controllers, this is a single channel controller, a 1000. This gives you one output. This is ideal for maybe a small backhoe or maybe you've got a uh, Harley rake that you need to change directions on. Uh, this is only for some brands of the Harley rakes. Some of the other ones require two channels. So if you move up here, this is our two channel controller. This gives you two outputs. Okay, again using the seven pin and then coming out to a Deutsch four pin. The reason we did that is that gives you two grounds because sometimes it's just easier for people to wire the two grounds. Uh, we have some controller boxes. We've got all different types of connectors here and controllers as well as we've got the different pigtails and we've got the different harnesses for some of the older boxes or the bigger boxes that we can that we still make so this is everything to do with if you own a bobcat machine and you want to run an aftermarket attachment just using the 12 volt solenoids that are on the uh, on the attachment the next thing on our list is our controllers a lot of machines don't have controls there's no means of controlling anything so we came out with some different controllers, different means of doing this, as well as we've got some parts for some of the different uh, items that we manufacture and some aftermarket parts for um, if you need to do a replacement solenoid for something that you are controlling. So we'll just have a quick look at the Super Controller. Super Controller is an aftermarket controller for if you don't have any type of control on your machine or you need to have more controls. For instance, you may have a Bobcat grader and you want to run a laser with it. We developed this specifically so that you can run a grader on any machine. And you can't use your standard controls because this unit here, these joysticks, each have five controls on them. So that gives you a total of ten controls and you need a minimum of nine controls to run a grader. So that's what this is all about. We have two versions of this. We have the rental kit and we have a permanent kit and we have a Kubota SVL. Uh, these kits are getting combined so that we give you pretty much everything that you need to run any of the machines uh, or any of the attachments available today. Okay, if we step back from controllers, we go all the way down from this controller down to just a single button switch. So if you just have a single switch that you need to operate uh, where a single control on an attachment this is the item for you and all it does is it just tie wraps onto the side of your joystick or you can use crazy glue and you can bond it to your joystick permanently it has a wiring kit and that allows you to operate one solenoid on a single attachment okay we also have some of the control boxes that you can buy these are just aftermarket control boxes that mount inside your cab and in this case it's the Paladin one with the Paladin cord on it. And we still have some of these remote controls here. Give you two outputs of the remote control. Again, if you're interested in buying one, just add it to your cart. Go to checkout and we'll ship it to you. Find a variety of connectors on the Schizier Genius website. We've got the 14 males, which are the machine side connectors for most machines like Kubota's, even the older Bobcats. We've got the replacement connectors for the Trident, which are the Bobcat style seven pins. We've got them both for the machine side as well as the attachment side. We've got the 14 pin attachment side. We've got the eight males, which are the machine side. Eight males, females, which are the attachment side. We've got replacement Deutsch. Uh, plugs as well as receptacles. We've got the dust caps. We've got the dust caps for the tridents And we've even got little pin packs now because a lot of people are just their their pins are getting ruined So they're looking for something to uh, help them with their pins We've got the the DIN connector style which you'll see on a lot of mod or the older solenoids So we pretty much have everything here on the connectors you jump back to home You go to harness kits these are the different bypass harnesses. Uh, if you went to this Bobcat selector or attachment selector, you would have been pushed in this direction and you would see the different harnesses for the different types of the Bobcat attachments that are out there. However, these can also be used on a lot of the aftermarket attachments if you maybe tear a hose or sorry, that's a harness up. Okay, back home we go, always go home. Um, 
if you click here, we've got our video page. Our video page has all these different videos that you can go through. Um, it looks like the, the videos aren't showing right now, but these are all the different numbers of the different videos, and they will be referenced on the uh, machines or on the uh, product pages as well. We've got a questions here. If you have extra questions and you need something answered, you can go here, fill out this form, and we'll get back to you within 24 hours with a written answer as well as links to the videos and the different questions. We've got all products, adapters, we've got our parts and tools section which has all the different pins, dust caps, we've got bypass cavity plugs for some of the Bobcat attachments. Okay, we come back up here. Here's an FAQ section, which is really popular. This has a lot of explanations on how these different attachments operate. You just click on it, and you can see how the operate how the operation of that attachment is. We've even got some good photos of how customers have installed things as well as us. So this is a really good place to go and look for information. So we have a lot of different things on here. Okay, we've got our feature products. These are kind of the standard ones that a lot of people buy, um, as well as links here to get in touch with us, our emailing information, as well as our search, which also pops up up here. You can search all products, and our shopping cart if you need to see what you've got in your cart. Other than that, if you have any other questions, you can click on the link on the top here, and uh, we'll get back to you. So thank you for visiting Skidster Genius.